good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to create full backup in windows 11 to an external drive and how you can recover that data in future i won't be using any kind of third-party application or software and this will be all done with the windows backup tool now before proceeding i would also like to let you know that in case if you want to take the manual backup just like if you have few files and folder that you want to take a backup then just connect your external drive like i have connected this new volume e then you have to locate to that particular location where you have the data then you can just copy that folder file whatever you want to and then you have to copy it then you need to go to your external drive and then paste the data over there so this was the first or the manual method but in case if you want to take the full backup then what you will have to do next click on your windows search type control then click on control panel now here you have to click on system and security in case if you don't find this kind of options at the right you can see view by make sure that you select this to category and then you will find this option click system and security then here you have to click on file history and then at the left and bottom you will find system image backup so click here on system image backup then from the left and menu option you have to click on create a system image and once you click it will start calculating and try to detect the hard drive external hard drive where you want to take the backup now here it says where do you want to save the backup so make sure on a hard disk you select the right hard disk from the drop down then you have to click on next and it says confirm your backup settings and the, this is the backup location that is new volume e so it's all okay and it says the backup could take up to 22 gigabyte of disk space so make sure that you have enough space on your external drive where you want to take the backup all right now once you are done it says the following drive will be backed up efi system partition c system windows recovery environment now you can click on start backup and depending that how much data you have it may take some time so do not do anything else just leave it and wait until this is all completed and once the backup will be completed you may get this kind of message that says do you want to create a system repair disk a uh, system repair disk can be used to boot your computer so if you also want to make it a bootable drive then you can click on yes I don't want that because we are just taking the backup so i will click on no and then you have to click on close so now we have successfully created the backup of all the data now let's see that how you can recover these data in the future so for that you have to right click on the windows icon then click on settings in setting you have to scroll down and at the bottom you will find recovery options so click on recovery and then it says advanced startup so you have to click on restart now then click restart now again and the computer will be now restarting yep. and then you will see this kind of blue screen with this advanced option click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and then below you will find see more recovery options so click on it then it says system image recovery click on it and this will automatically detect the location it says use the latest available system image that we just created it shows the date and time as well in order to verify it and in case if you have a different system image file then you can click on it as of now i have to click on this option then i will click on next and my backup will be started so this is how quickly you can create the full backup on your windows 11 and you can easily recover the data and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe or any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye